Due to its severe electric vehicle problem, Volkswagen may have to permanently close its doors. The CEO of Volkswagen declared the roof is on fire, alerting the whole electric vehicle sector. This is the last warning sign from consumers that VW will not be able to live up to its promises about electric vehicles. Firing manufacturing staff, stashing more than 350 vehicles in cemeteries, and losing every sale to Tesla in a single year. People, this is going to have a devastating impact on the auto industry as a whole in some locations. Sales of their autos have been so bad that they've been forced to completely halt production. Why is the CEO of VW promoting EVs so strongly in the face of zero demand? Will Volkswagen be able to withstand fierce competition? And why did they abandon thousands of cars to rot in the desert? The Volkswagen Group is being pushed to produce DVs despite its desire to keep combustion engines alive, and this dual focus is already costing them billions of dollars in lost revenue. In a speech that has since gone viral, Volkswagen CEO Thomas Schaefer delivered a grim warning to the company's senior executives, shocking the automobile sector. According to Schaefer, this is the last warning, signifying a severe expenditure freeze. During an hour-long conference, Schaefer told nearly 2,000 senior managers that the roof was on fire, and you could hear the urgency in his voice. We're allowing expenses to get out of control. Schaefer stated this during the online management meeting in numerous areas. To put this into perspective, Volkswagen has a staggering debt of $192 billion, making it the most indebted company in the world. This enormous debt is nearly equal to the GDP of countries like Hungary and South Africa. Volkswagen is not the only German automaker struggling with massive debt. In fact, two of Germany's automotive titans, DHL and BMW, are also among the top 10 most indebted companies in the world, with debts of $151 and $114 billion respectively. As losses from their auto department continues to mount, VW's situation is only getting worse. In the midst of all this, remember that they were forced to leave 350,000 cars in the desert to rust. VW does not, however, face immediate internal or operational difficulties. Despite a 48% increase in sales of all electric vehicles year over year, there are still obstacles due to safety and emission requirements in the external market. Due to the decrease in sales in China, where VW must discount several of its most lucrative models in order to stay competitive, the company's resources are being taxed by this dual focus. This will only increase the pressure on them to release some less expensive variants that cost under $25,000. Across 37 facilities in the US, more than 300,000 diesel vehicles serve as a somber reminder of the company's dubious business methods. This enormous automotive purgatory is the product of Volkswagen's infamous 2015 emissions scandal, in which the firm was discovered to have cheated emissions tests using software. The scandal's aftermath included a whopping $7.4 billion in buyback settlements and the enormous undertaking of warehousing the vehicles. These diesel artifacts from the recalled cars are dispersed around several areas, such as an abandoned paper mill in Minnesota, a former football stadium in a Detroit suburb, and a desert close to Victorville, California. Another EU ban on combustion engines has resulted in significant losses. Were you aware that the EVS was also having problems lately? The EU predicts that 30 million electric vehicles will be on European roads by 2030, but battery disposal will inevitably become a problem with this increase. Lithium-ion batteries, which differ greatly from the usual lead-acid batteries found in conventional cars, power most electric vehicles. In addition to being bigger and heavier, these EV batteries also include potentially dangerous substances. They have the potential to explode with frightening force if handled improperly. Currently, only 5% of these batteries are recycled worldwide. Nissan recycles old batteries from its leaf vehicles for use in internal logistics, and Volkswagen, in partnership with Veola, has established its first recycling facility in Salzgitter, Germany. Volkswagen also recycles all of the batteries from its electric vehicles. According to a recent Bloomberg study, Germany's desire for electric vehicles has significantly decreased. The German government's decision to stop providing EV incentives to business customers, who make up a sizable chunk of the country's new car market, is arguably to blame for this decline. August saw a 171% increase in EV sales as buyers rushed to take advantage of the subsidiaries before they ended. For the first two weeks of October, work on the ID3 assembly at the Dresden Glass Factory came to a stop. This production reduction has substantial ripple effects. Volkswagen declared that once their one-year contract ended, it would be discharging 269 temporary employees in Zao. Additionally, the company's decision to scrap its plans for a new $2 billion factory in Wolfsburg also hangs in the balance for the fate of about 2,000 additional temporary employees. 
That's it for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your feelings in the comments section below. Until the next video, goodbye.